Here we have a uh, one cross gilt and then two Yorkshire gilts here. The one that that's following Alex right now is the 65-4. Uh, uh, these would be all by my or all by myself back on a Jasper, all by myself the bore at Platts there uh, or upper hand that that did a real nice job. We got a um, had a litter of those in December and I got a gilt out of there, a keeper gilt that I really uh, really like in the slap barn there that I'm high on. Um, following around there i mean just a stoutness of feature and skull and bone and foot and everything uh get out and go got a good knee and, and chest when they come right at you uh i think a nice pair of yorkshires very good pair of yorkshires i mean i that dash four going across the center of the ring right now it's uh she could she can run with the best of them i'd say in the in the dash three she's a little stouter you know a little more spread up high but uh I mean, there's just, just very discrete differences in them. You know, one's probably a little more powerful, the Dash 3, and one's a little more prettier, the Dash 4. Um, take your pick, I'd say. And that's a big rear leg when that one was just standing there from behind, too. And uh, with being that big-legged in the way, it can still get out and go and flex. And uh, for Matt to say they're good Yorkshires, they got to be decent. Yeah, it's hard to do, but <laughs> I just I just tell you how I see them. Well, that's right. Uh, lot 67 would be the, the belted crossbred gilt in here. That's 40-4. Uh, that'd be the in the woods rusty cage. We got that uh, pair of, uh, there's the one boar and then the black barrel that uh, would be litter mates to this one. In the woods is the my intention kingpin uh, boar down there at Brockman's that, that we like these pigs quite a bit. Uh, back on a rusty cage female and uh, we've been bringing back to that in the woods here now too. Yeah, I like that boar pig and that black barrel quite a bit and now this uh, girl pig comes in here and and uh, that one looks like she could compete with the boys in the market division and uh, maybe even bring her home and soften her up and make a sow in the long term but uh, in a market division that one could could uh, hang some banners I'd say in the market guilt deal. Yeah absolutely I mean if you want to uh, do that market guilt deal earlier and in, into August and September, uh, or if you want to sit on her for a while too. I mean, I think she's the way that she looks and and put together and feet and legs. Uh, she could be a big time show guilt uh, for the big rings later on. Um, yeah, you know, later like, in the fall. Yeah, Tulsa, yeah. Kansas City, uh, exarbing that time of, that she's, type of thing. She's got the extension and stuff. I mean, it's she she could go a long ways. Shape up high and uh, good length of hip there and everything. I think. Uh, a, a nice gilt, the the only one out of that litter that we're going to offer. But I was just going to ask you. I mean, that's, yeah. that's why. I, are you sure you want to sell her? Well, not really, but <laughs> we got too many of them. We like to hoard gilts around here, so uh, that's lot sixty-seven forty-four. That'd be in the woods back on a rusty cage female.